Well, I can say that uh, from a broad perspective, the Scandinavian countries and the, the Nordic countries have uh, evolved in such a way as to become subject to the hegemon. We have a government and a security service that will do the bidding of the U.S. government and the CIA. NATO uh, partners, as they say, are very, very close in planning military operations. It surprises me not in the least that the Norwegians would do this. Early last year, both President Biden and Under Secretary of State Victoria Nuland confidently assured that if the Russia-Ukraine crisis happened, the Nord Stream 2 project will not move forward. This happened nearly half a year before the uh, destruction. Could we understand it in this way that this type of assertions shows that at least the U.S. have the capability or already have a proposed plan to uh, carry out this kind of state-level actions. The interesting thing there is that the clip usually ends there, right? But if you watch the next question from this very talented and courageous uh, Reuters correspondent, she's fluent in German, and she asks Olaf Scholz, the German chancellor, standing at the next podium, which says, what a... What about this? What about this, Herr Chancellor? What do you say about this? Biden having just said, we will be able to do it, you know? So what does, she, what does Olaf Scholz say? That's really the most important thing right now. He says, we, we do everything together. Together. Uh, there is nothing we do that is important that we don't do together. So the German people now are faced with the, the problem, the challenge of asking Chancellor Scholz, did you blow up the Nord Stream pipeline together? Did President Biden tell you what this all meant when you were together, when you were in Washington on the, on the 7th of February? Or, or did he not tell you? Was it a surprise to you? <laughs> this is an obvious question for them to, to ask. 